Arabic, you can refer to Allah as a father. Yes, you can. Well, uh, okay, but according to the Quran, you can't. If you can refer to God, Allah as your father, you're committing shirk and blasphemy according to the Quran. So that's why like you have many places. It says it is not befitting for Allah to take unto himself a son. Uh, chapter 9, verse 30. Whoever says that the Messiah is the son of Allah is a disbeliever and Allah's curses on them. So if Jesus okay, is claiming, go ahead. You're taking word God as father as actual father, but you're yeah. confused thinking that father is really the sense of father, but not biologically. It's in the real sense. Like he's a father to us. He cares for us, not in it, as a sense that he's actual our father. So a Muslim okay. can see it as he cares for us, not taking, but actually you cannot take it as, oh, he's father, father. But you guys get confused and think that he, it means father literally, but it's not actual literal. It's biologically. We, we, we don't, we don't, we, we don't get confused on that at all. Look, your Quran rejects even that way that. You are a son or daughter of Allah in the sense that he loves you, that he cares for you and stuff like this. John, uh, not John, <laughs> in the Quran in chapter number five, verse 18, it says, Jews and Christians say, we are the sons of Allah, his loved ones, right? In the sense that he loves us, he cares for us, his beloved. The Quran says, if you if so then why does he punish you for your sins no you're not the sons of allah so the quran rejects that you cannot come to allah as a son or a daughter in any sense it doesn't work because he has to draw a line before between a faithful believer and just someone who doesn't believe that was chapter 5 verse 18 for the people who's asking no, uh, uh, is it, is it, uh, how do I say your name? I don't want to try to butcher it. TT. TT. Okay. We'll go with TT. TT. No, it, it's, it doesn't matter in no way, shape or form. According to the Quran, can Allah be a father to you, to anyone, especially Jesus? It rejects that. It calls you a disbeliever. If you utter such a word, it says that the earth and the, and the heavens crumble at such, at such the thought of Allah having children. So in any sense, you can only come to Allah as a slave, period. So with Jesus coming to Allah as his son disqualifies him as being a Muslim. No, it does not. If he's not, if you don't know the sense of how he's referring it to it actually as a father, and you don't have, you don't have no proof that he's actually saying it as in that way. Like you don't have it no proof that saying that he's T -T. in a biologically way. TT, I'm not claiming biologically. It doesn't matter what. Hear me out. Hear what I'm saying very carefully. In no sense. In no sense. Is Allah a father to anyone? Figuratively, metaphorically, biologically, literally, spiritually, in no sense is Allah a father to anyone. The only relationship, according to the Quran, chapter 19, verse 93, the only relationship that you can have with Allah is a slave to master relationship not a daughter and a father not a son and a father a slave and master relationship that's it okay that's it okay if we, like so you believe that you're a son of god yes i am according to my book according to my scriptures so, the true god has children i'm adopted as his son because so of my faith the in the messiah so if you're so called a son of god that means you think you're equal to jesus because if you nope. are a son of god and jesus is son of god that means you guys have the same power that means you guys came out the same one nope. so you guys came out the same you came out nope. a woman yes you nope. did so nope. you think Here that god again. watch this watch this watch this <sighs> I am not a son of God in the way that Jesus is a son of God. Jesus is the exactly. begotten son of God, the one who is begotten of the father's essence. 
I am a son of God by faith in the Messiah. I am a son by adoption. Jesus was not adopted as the son of, of God. He is born of God. Okay. He is, he comes from God's nature. Me, I was created and I am adopted as God's son because of my belief, because of my faith in him. So he adopts me as his son. So there's many different senses in the Bible where you can be a son or daughter of God. There's different senses. Jesus is the son of God in a very unique way. He's the only begotten son of God, according to the Bible. Okay. But here's the thing. According to even all of this, none of that is Allah. Because in no sense is Allah a father. Adoptive, spiritually, figuratively, begotten, none of that. He is not a father in any way, shape, or form. So therefore, when Jesus says that he's the son of God, whether he means it figuratively, literally, metaphorically, spiritually, it doesn't matter. He, it means he's not a Muslim. That's you hear what I'm saying? So, so, so if you're saying it in that, so you could say it in that sense, but you, so that part of the Bible, you could say it, that it's in, it's in real sense. But when we're referring to him saying it as father, you told me that's not real sense and it's not any form because you're just no, being hypocritical. I didn't say that. You know, yes, you did. Yes, the fuck you did. But please don't cuss on my stage. Relax. So what I said was, is Allah is not a father in any sense. That's what I said. So if Jesus is saying that he is God's son in any sense, then he's not a Muslim. Understand what I'm saying? No. What 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 part of what I said is confusing? It doesn't make sense because I already said it's not even in a biological way, like how you're trying to go with it, but it's in the real sense. Like, and then when you said just now talking about the other thing in the real sense but when i said that that's not in the real sense but you don't have no proof that's not in the real sense make it make sense <laughs> oh man all right you know what you can do you can to, to kill all of this you can destroy this point oh did she just leave <laughs> hmm. right 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 she just left right I'm telling you guys, Muhammad is under something. Muhammad is under something. I think it's Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari. I think it's Sahih Bukhari, 304. That's where he says that the women are deficient in mind and deficient in their religion. They're deficient in the brain. I don't believe that, but Muhammad said it, and you Muslims continue you mostly must continue to almost make me believe muhammad was a real prophet seriously y'all are this close to making me believe that muhammad was an actual prophet i'm telling you ah reduced that's right reduced 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 in the mind reduced in the mind I kid you not, wallahi, wallahi, wallahi. You Muslims are the only thing that's keeping me from absolutely emphatically rejecting Muhammad as a prophet. Wallahi. There's a little zero 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 point zero 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 three percent chance that I can believe that he's a prophet and it's because of the Muslims. It's because of y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm trying not to believe what he says. I'm trying not to. And do not say that. <laughs> do not say three. Uh, Habibi, I'm sorry, Habibti. I'm sorry. All right, let's see who we have next here. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. How are you? I'm good. Um, were you on Good News Tyler's live yesterday? I was not. 
Okay, well, there's somebody going around pretending to be you as your same profile picture, account name, and everything. Yeah, yeah, they uh, they even I was told that they even have like a uh, they split up a recording or made an AI recording of my voice and stuff like that to where uh, they like cut out some stuff to make it sound like I'm speaking or something. I heard that. Um, they also made a fake account or some type of screenshot uh, where they have me. They have they have me uh, saying to a girl, I like little. Well, I don't want to get docs, but or um, blocked, <laughs> but uh, I, I like I like little girls um, and I grape them. So they, they even they're they're going that far, bro. They're going that far. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that, because I, I thought it was a real you yesterday until I checked the followers and they had mm -hmm. only like 200. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's sick, bro. So, yeah, thanks thanks for um, bringing that to the attention because I forgot to mention that. Yeah, guys, um, when you see they're still in my profile, they're still in my username and everything like this, uh, and they're they're making they're going up trying to pretend to be me, cutting out my voices and stuff like that, um, trying to pretend that I'm saying stuff. Uh, these fake screenshots of, of fake profiles that they made. You know, so when you guys see all this weird stuff that's popping up, you guys already know it's the devil, man. Um, and that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep on going, keep on destroying this religion, keep on destroying and exposing Muhammad as a false prophet that he is, and Allah is the sick God that he is, and there's nothing they can do about it. There's nothing they can do. They can't refute me. They can't debunk me. They can't beat me because my God has already won. Our God has already won. And... They're mad. It's as simple as that. Yeah, and that's not, you know. All right, uh, <laughs> I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Appreciate what you're doing, man. God bless you. Holy Spirit is really doing the work through you. And uh, keep it up. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. God bless you. <clears throat> yeah, guys. It's real out here. They can't. The best thing that they can do when it comes to doxing they get they go on my facebook and my mom's facebook and my dad's facebook and their instagrams and stuff and screenshot photos and stuff share their addresses and things of this nature uh i'm pretty sure they tried to find criminal record record clean they can't do that they can't they can't bring up anything in my past because it's squeaky clean they're trying so hard and guess what even if i did have a criminal record that would just be a, uh, that would just be a light bringing glory to Christ of where he brought me from. So shout out to my brothers and sisters in the faith who have had a criminal, who do have criminal records, who have gone through things, um, incriminating things, and God brought you through that. And you are where you are now because of Christ. Look at the love and the, and the salvation and the mercy of our God that he even uses criminals and ex-cons um people who have done terrible things and he uses you still to spread his gospel and to be a part of his kingdom well because visually you know so no amount of no amount of hate and lies that they bring up is effective because our vindication is with our lord and we are made right by him we are washed by him and we are victorious by him and the devil hates it. He mad, y'all. And all we going to do is what, y'all? When they dox us, when they make folk fake profiles and they lie about us, what is it, what, what, what we just going to do? Um, what we going to do? That's it. That's it. We just going to read. <laughs> we just going to read. All right, let's bring up the next guest. Let's see you. <coughs> hey, yo. Yo. Hey, I'm allowed to point my camera on that. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm just sitting down the store. Give me a sec. All right, bro. What's, What's your that? question? All right, shoot, shoot. Give me a give me a question, bro. Give me a question. And I got a nice question for you in it. So you better like 
You better hold your end, man. Since you're saying Jesus is God, this and that, I can prove you all wrong. So you better hold your end, bro. Give Are me you your question and I'll give you my question. Are you a Muslim? Uh, Alhamdulillah, I am Muslim, die hard Muslim, brother. I believe in common sense. I don't believe in a man who, you know, used the bathroom, who slept to be God. I am not a guy, bro. Otherwise, you would have been a candidate if any man can be God. Hmm. Interesting. You said you believe in common sense. I speak logic, mind, bro. You need to like sometimes wake up and say, you know what? All humans on earth cannot control the sun. No man can make the moon go in uh, the orbit that it does. Mm -hmm. No way can I believe another man who was breastfed to be a god. I see. Yeah. So you don't you don't you don't believe that God is a man? Say it again. You don't believe that God is a man? No. Uh, uh, all right. Let me ask you a question. How about Wait, that? The, I'm just I'll trying to understand you. With your question. I'm just trying to understand you. All right, go ahead. So you don't so, you, you you don't believe that God God is a man? You think it's and no, I don't I do not believe him. God is a man at all. A man cannot make this universe or these all these billions of galaxies in space. Got it. Right, got let it, me got let me ask you a question, bro. Do, with your do you believe question, that, that? Do, you, do you do you believe that God is comparable to His creation at all? God is above and way beyond even time, let alone humans. Human standard. Mm -hmm. You're looking at God in a human standard. He was the first and he's the last, bro. Not human, not Jesus, by the, the first way. and the last. But you say that I know you're going to say that about Jesus, by the way, if you say Jesus, son of God, yeah, I'm sure Adam is more of a good candidate because he is the first human being to ever be made directly by God, by the way, again. Yeah, he is a son of God. All right, let me let me ask you a question. Does, so, can wait, can wait, God hold on, die? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm trying God to die, understand bro? your theology. I was trying to understand your theology. All right, so you ahead. say that it's common sense to know that God is not a man. You also said that God is not uh related relatable to his creation at all in any way because he's way above us he's way and beyond does god have hands god has hands yes he has eyes he hears though he has eyes completely different to us let me ask you a question bro so he so he is relatable to us then huh he has eyes he has hands he he can hear he sees your heart he has eyes beyond your so, normal so, eyes look look so, you can't so, see so. Sounds like my dad. Can you read my mind? Can you see a human mind? Which is called uh, under X-ray. Can you right now, yeah, look into somebody's like brain, yeah, and can see their thoughts? Uh, yeah, I could put your thoughts on the imagery and uh, under I'm talking, I'm talking under, with your uh, eyes. X-ray. Uh, I'm talking with your eyes. Under, You're under using machines brain, and under that. Brain again. Scan. But God doesn't need machines to be able to see. So can you see somebody's brain mm. and see their thoughts? Yes or no, bro? Uh, not, not without a machine, no. Uh, then how can God does? Uh, how can God do so, this? If so, you have the same so eyes does, as God, so he how does can this you with his this? eyes? Huh? Where he does this with his eyes? God says he sees the hearts, let alone brains and this and that. He sees. He sees. Does he see the? Does he see the heart with his eyes? He sees the heart with his, with his the way he sees. He is he not human. God that. is not human. Does he, see, a question. does he see the heart with his eyes? Yeah, but you ask me 10 questions and I haven't even asked you yeah, one we're, yet. We're, we're on the subject. I like to stay focused. I don't like to jump around. Uh, but I, I, feel so, like you're, I feel like you're scared to let me ask you a question. Oh, no, I, I'm just not can that. God I just die? like to stay focused. Can I God like to die? Stay focused. Uh, let's I like stay to focused. stay focused. So can God so die? Does yes he, no? So does he see with his eyes or not? God can see with his eyes, yes. But can God die? Yes or no? So he has, so he has eyes. He has hands. He has a face. Correct? Uh, no, no. Don't say stuff like that. God has... Everything. All right. You are confused. looking at you're looking at things with your with your human mind. And you know, your eyes can't even see far beyond like your eyes can't even stare at the sun. How about that? So, so you're looking at God in a human perspective. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Can God die? Can he can he see with his eyes or not? Can God die, bro? Why are you, why are you running away it's, from it's, my it's, it's, it's It sounds like you're the one running away from your own theology. But you asked me 10 questions and you can't even you said, answer you one said that question you, of you mine. Said that you, believe, you said that you believe in common <laughs> sense. I'm trying to Can God that. die, yes or no? I, I want everyone to answer me this. Can, can God die, yes or no? So are you willing to engage with the conversation or not? Can anybody answer me this? Any true Christian who is not afraid to answer that? All right. Take care of yourself, bro. I run away, bro. Run away. Yeah, you're running away. You can't even answer your own theology. Uh, how about it? I believe in common sense. I don't believe that God is relatable to humans. Yet I believe that God has eyes, actual eyes. 
I believe that God has actual hands and has an actual face and has actual ears to hear. Hmm. But I believe in common sense, and I don't believe that God is a man. Sound like a man to me. Sound no different than my dad. Sound no different than my man Sean who's sitting right next to me. So it says, let's see, you. I mean, I, we, we need people that's really actually willing to have the conversation. Yo, what up, bro? What's up, what's up? Remember our conversation a while back? We did good. I don't. I remember your name, though. What yeah, we, we had a we had a great conversation. How you guys? How you doing today? By the way, I'm sorry good. that you're dealing with all that BS, man. You don't. No one deserves that, you know. So it's okay. It comes with the territory, man. It comes with the territory. But uh, yeah, yeah. So and you said 2200. If you get to prove that, 2200, brother. Is it like a? Is it a wire, PayPal, crypto? What would you take? Yeah, yeah. Can we do Cash App, crypto, Venmo, Zelle, however. However, uh, it's easy for, for you to yeah, get money. Yeah, I want crypto and I think Ethereum. Ethereum is popping off right now. So I see a lot of, uh, <laughs> I see it going up. So, <laughs> okay. Remind me, Mo, are you, you're, you're Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, yeah, because this, this challenge only qualifies for Muslims. So, great. Just make sure. Awesome. All right. So, what you got? Um, and you said crypto, right? 100%. Like, we're going on that. Yeah, if you want. All right. So basically like one ETH is good. Uh, yeah. So I'll give you a Bible verse. Uh, go to Matthew 20, 2639. I can't hear you if you're off the app, but is that correct? Matthew 2639. Matthew 26, Matthew 2639. He fell to his face and prayed. And only Muslims do that. Not Christians don't pray. Wait, why'd you, why'd you stop there? Can you read the whole verse? I think, I think, I think. I mean, I mean, right, right there. That's, yeah, he, he just prayed. He prayed on his so, face. He prayed on his Hindus, face. Hindus, Hindus pray in their face. So Orthodox Muslims, Christians bro. pray in their face. Christians. Muslims pray on, Muslims you, pray do, in their face. Do you pray on your face? So, yeah, I do. Wait, wait, Not all wait. the time, but I do sometimes. Like you put your forehead on the floor with your nose. That's praying on your face. Yeah, prostrate. I prostrate. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Yeah, Christians do that, man. Despite. Despite Muslim heretic, uh, Muslim rhetoric, Christians prostrate on their face when they pray. So, uh, but you're, a lot of times. so when you do that, you're submitting yourself to God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so Islam means or Muslim means someone who submits himself to God. So if Jesus prayed on his face, that means he's submitting himself to God. So that means he's a Muslim. So who do you want to marry? Does it, does it matter who he's, does it matter who he's prostrating to? God, his creator. But can you do, just do me a favor? Read the whole verse for me. I can't read because I have to like get out the app. But let me look at. Okay, no, no worries. Yeah, you can just look at it real quick. No joke. This guy's calling me a liar. Yeah. Well, oh, my father, if it's possible to me for a cup, right? Oh, my father is in God, right? His father. Yeah. Yeah, his father. Good. So, um, polytheists they also prostrate. Um, are they Muslims? To idol. To idols. Yeah, are they Muslims though? They're not Christians or Muslims. Yeah. So polytheists are Muslims? No, no, they don't. <laughs> they prostrate, no. though. They prostrate to their gods that they believe in. Yeah, but Jesus is prostrate to his father, a.k.a. God, a.k.a. the creator. Oh. AKA Jesus. So wait, is, is Allah the father of Jesus? From a symbolic sense. Really? God is so, our own father from a symbolic sense. Yeah, there's either mother. So the, the problem you, with us is you, we don't believe he's a biological father like you guys, right? No, no, no one does. No one does. Can you um? Can you show me in the Quran that Allah is a father at all? I mean, we we don't we don't the use that Jesus. term. We we don't use that term. Why not? Why not? Because we have real. You're father, saying that we're. You know, and, so where, so where did you get this father from? Father is like all... limited, you know. I think that's where the, so, the translation came from. I think it was good intentions at first, but in terms of the actual where did, where did, father, uh, is it has to be symbolic, right? Where did you Where did you get this from? Like a father a raises father symbolic. a father gives birth to his child. A father raises his child. A father provides. Yeah, Mo, his Mo, child. Mo, yeah. Mo, 
Where did where did you get this from? That Allah is a father symbolically. Where did you get this from? Well, I'm trying to make sense of the Bible. I mean, I'm trying to make sense of it for you. Well, no, you can't make sense. We're not talking about the Bible. You're talking about your Islamic beliefs. The Bible is not Islamic. Where do you get this from? That Allah is a father symbolically. I don't. I don't I'm saying I don't get it from. I don't. I don't get it from my own teaching. So it's not as. So it's not as. It's not Islamic then. That's not a teaching I, that Allah is a father. Correct. Well, when I'm reading the Bible and it says, "Oh my father," I'm praying to my that, father, right? Yeah, I'm not talking about the Bible again. Not talking about the Bible. Yeah, talking but we're talking about, about the same God, though, like the one who created. No, you, we're not. The one who we pray to. Really, we pray to the one so, who created. So you. wait, wait, one, one, one second, one second, please. Let's let's take it step by step. So, you're saying that Allah is a father? No, no, you no, just no, said, no, 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 no. God can't be a actual father. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, like, I'm looking at the Bible. I'm trying to analyze it, and I'm trying to basically make it right but no god can't yeah, you're, tr you're trying you're trying to fit it with yeah the Quran trying to fit, exactly exactly yeah, yeah the yeah. point is is that that doesn't work because these they have contradictory claims one claims that god is a father the other claims that god is not a father in any way shape or form but he is the son and the father according to a christian so how is he praying so so again that goes against islamic theology that god is a father or that god is the son of the father exactly you know what i'm saying it goes against islamic theology so if jesus is teaching that god is his father in any way shape or form then he's not a muslim right no according to the according to the bible right like no according to islam because you're proof you're trying to prove that jesus is no but you're you're, you're you're trying to disprove the quran using the bible and i'm trying i'm not disproving you're, nothing you're, i'm, you're just, I'm we're talking about this claim we're talking about this claim that Jesus is a Muslim. But you're using in order for verse, Jesus to be a Muslim. Using that verse, right, to say that you use the verse. Did I? Did I use the verse? Well, I'm using I'm using the part where he prayed on his face, and I'm trying to, to say like, if he's if he's God to God, and I'm trying to say if to he's who, God, though? why to would he pray to himself? Well, the to verse says the verse says my father, but we believe that very good, God, right? So yeah. do uh, exactly. Do you exactly. see that? Yeah. So you here's the point. I'm quoting this verse to prove that Jesus is a Muslim because he prayed. According to the verse, he prayed to his father. We as Muslims don't believe that, that God is his father. Yet I'm still using this verse that disproves my Muslim position to believe that Jesus is Muslim. Do you, see, do you hear how that sounds? I, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I do see what you're saying for sure. But I'm using the part where he prayed on his face. And I know what you're saying. He said, in the Bible, he prayed to the Father. But we would just say, no, he prayed to God. That, that's, that's it. I know, I know what you would say. So how about yes. this? Can we, can we both then agree that this verse actually does not prove that Jesus is a Muslim? It, it proves the opposite, that he's not a Muslim. But that's if you finish the verse. Yeah, if you finish the verse, yeah. Okay. But who, so but who the you need you need something else, man. I'm still holding on to this 2200. You need a, you need something oh, else. Oh, I want that crypto, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, just a side note, bro. I really respect how you you actually go on the street and you preach. I think you were in Vegas. I, I watched mm -hmm. that live. You, great job, man. Listen, bro. I want oh, people thanks. to worship God. At, at the end of the day, you know, I think God, mm -hmm. he, whether it's Christian, Islam, Judaism, like you need God in your life. So I do respect to you, man. Um, so you're it, not going to take that for, I'm screwed then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, listen, listen, bro. You're not going to take anything I say. So like, what's the point, you know? Like, no, no, yeah. look, I'm going to take what you say. I'm just going to use it against you. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, we all, but we have different beliefs. We have different sources. It's just, you know, it's, it's at the end of the day, we have to look at the source and see if the chains and everything is good and stuff. But uh, all respect to you, man. I'll, I'll let other people try. I just okay. want to yeah, give you a, a good, a good night. And uh, yeah, that, keep that doing, man. from a Muslim brother, right. though, you know, like we, we have respect, bro. You know, so I appreciate uh, you, bro. Yeah, much respect to I you guys. It. Thanks, Mo. Take care of yourself, man. See ya. Peace. I'm also making oh, that. man, I really huh? All right, that's Mo. <clears throat> Let's see who else we got. It's getting hot. You give me lemonade. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see here. 
<laughs> uh, look at famous guys. <laughs> Reza, <laughs> what, what, what is the what does it say? Reza, stop! Stop running, Brusky. No, no. What, what did the uh, what did the caption say above my face? Yeah, I said, "Ever seen a runner? There he is." <laughs> <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Ati, stop running from my question. That picture is going to stay up there, bro. And everyone's going to know who you are, my guy. Okay, no worries. You said you're going to kick me out, yeah? Just for the picture or not? Just yeah, I just wanted to bring you up for the picture. You can hey, stay bro, watch, I just though. asked you one simple question. Can God die? There, 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 there could be an argument made. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. There could be an argument made, but what he has to do, he he's piecing different contradictory false gospels together. He's talking about gospel of Hebrews, gospel of Thomas. Oh, uh, yo, you hear me? He's, he's saying that. Well, you, you, I'm still, I'm live. No, I'm, I'm live. Oh, oh, what well, you asked me? I oh, know, I, well, I didn't actually go that deep. <laughs> what's up, uh, what's up, bro? Yeah, it was good, man. It's been a minute. I think we've spoken before, actually, on uh, Lights uh, Live or something like that, but. Uh, yeah, man, man. that's right, what's up, man? Yeah, it's been a minute, bro. So I just wanted to ask if you've heard this yet. Um, so I, I'm already, I'm just gonna explain the process before because I don't really like blindsiding people. So I'm just gonna give you the framework behind what I'm gonna be working with, and then you can kind of tell me if you heard this already. So I'm gonna be using Matthew twelve eight, which uh, are you familiar to with? Prove the, that he's a Muslim? To prove that he's yeah. a Muslim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Are you familiar with it already? Because you can. I'm I'm really looking for. No, I, no. Like, this this is a different angle. Let's go. I like it. Okay, for sure. Hold on, let me let me pull it up. You said Matthew twelve. Matthew twelve. Eighteen. No, I said eight earlier. My bad. It's eighteen. I apologize. Okay. 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 Sounds good. So Matthew twelve. Ooh. And to be honest, I was more, I was more so looking for the Christian perspective because I've heard uh, one Muslim argue this. And I did a little bit of digging into it. I couldn't really find like a Christian opinion on it. So I was actually wondering if you'd heard this argument. I was looking for, you know, more of your explanation of it. But if you haven't heard it, I'd love to. You know, Matthew 12, 18? 18, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Behold my servant whom I have. So this was to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet mm -hmm. Isaiah. Either. Behold my servant, whom I have chosen, my beloved, whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay. So do we agree that this is being attributed to Jesus within the Bible? Yes. Fantastic. So that's referring back to Isaiah 42, 1, correct? Correct. So just to read Isaiah 42, 1 for the audience and for yourself, just to make sure we got at the same page. Behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect, in, who, in whom my soul delighteth. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. That's, Matthew, uh, that's Isaiah 42, 1. So upon reading Isaiah 42, 1, if you look at the interlinear and the Hebrew translation into Arabic, I can pull that up right now. Do you want me to show my screen or do you want to just pull it up yourself? Um, you can. Yeah. Okay, for sure. I'll show my screen. Let me try to not dox myself, even though my face is all over my page. So I'm not sure if my screen's big enough here, but the Arabic to be safe, secure, and just to, I'll go back and show my work on this as well to show you how to get here. So this is what Isaiah. Exactly? What word oh, are sure. you? This is Bible Hub. Bible no, Hub. no, no. I know the site. What, uh, what verse and word are you looking at? Oh, yeah. Isaiah 42, 19. If you click on interlinear here, after clicking on Hebrew. No, yeah. What, what word? I, I know, no, no, sure. no. What, what word? Kim, Kim Sulam, right here. As he who okay. is perfect. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to click 799 right here. And then that'll take you to this page. So Shalom being the word in Hebrew. And now all I'm going to do is highlight the part right here that we're referring to and you can read all the rest if you'd like and pull it up on your own as well 
Uh, be safe, secure, free from fault, make over, resign, submit oneself, especially to God, whence participle, Muslim. An infinitive, which is a nerve, uh, verb, Islam. So Islam being the infinitive verb of Muslim. So we see here in Isaiah 42, 18, that the word for a servant, or at least to submit oneself, especially to God, when written in Arabic, is read as Muslim, with the infinitive verb, the basic verb being Islam. Properly submission to God. Assyrian is Salamu. Be complete, unharmed, be paid, etc., etc. So I just, is there like a good argument against this, or... I just want to hear your perspective. Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's sure, Isaiah 42, uh, 18, right? Yeah. Okay. So Isaiah, so we 42, read Isaiah 42, 18 refers to Jesus in this scenario. Yeah, well, now, in the earlier verses, watch this, though. Did you say sure, that's, yeah. verse, uh, that's verse 19, right? No, no, this is still 42, 18. Okay, 42, 18. Yes, sir. Not Matthew 12, 18. No, 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 sorry, sorry, 42, 1. I apologize. Matthew 12, 18, and then to Isaiah 42, 1. I apologize. Yeah, so, uh, so, so go back go back to the... Uh, go back to the sure, uh, do you want uh, Matthew or do you yeah, want push, Isaiah? Push, no, push, push the back button where you, where you were oh, to sure, get to yeah. this one. Yeah, 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 here you go. And I can go back one more so, if you'd like. Right, yeah. So, so the, the verse, the word that you clicked on is in, is in Isaiah 42, verse 19. All right? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So when we go and look at the context of Isaiah forty-two, verse who is 19, blind but my servant? Yeah, exactly. That's not about Jesus. That's about that's about Israel. Who so, is blind but my yeah. servant? We've already established that my servant in this refers nope. to Jesus. No, no. So there's two servants being mentioned in Isaiah forty-two. The first servant is the servant who saves the blind. He himself is not blind. While the second servant is the blind one, the nation of Israel. Okay, so watch. If you read, go to Isaiah 42, or we already read verse one, right? It yeah, this says, is 19. Yep. So let's go back up to let's go back up to the beginning, so I can show you the difference between sure. the servant of the Lord who saves and the servant of the Lord who is blind and needs saving. Okay. So sure. you have verse one. So we did verse one. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom I so delights. I put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations, All right? Verse two, he will not cry aloud or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, so on and so forth, right? Now, yeah. we go down to, uh, go down to verse, verse six and seven. It says, oh, six, I am the Lord. I am the Lord, I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you I will give you as a covenant for the people, a light for the mm -hmm. Gentiles, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. Okay. I think now, I'm a KJ. Which one do you want? Yeah, that, that's fine. You can you use wanna, that all right. If you can follow sure. along with us, that's fine. So you yeah. see how the servant, the first servant that's mentioned, brings out the people from the prisons and and who are in the dungeons and brings them out of darkness. He himself is not in the prison. He himself is not in the darkness. Sure. He's bringing people out of the darkness, right? And he himself is not the one who's blind, but he's opening the eyes that are blind, right? You with me so far? I'm seeing the first one, yeah. I'm seeing the first servant. Okay. So now so when where we does drop the second down, one come? yeah, so when we drop down to verse 18, mm -hmm. now it says verse 18 here, Hear, you deaf, and look, you blind, that you may see. Who is blind but my servant, or deaf as my messenger whom I send? Who is blind as my dedicated one, or blind as the servant of the Lord? He sees many things, but does not observe them. His ears are open, but does not hear. The Lord was pleased for his righteousness sake, to magnify his law and make it glorious but this is a people this is a people plundered and looted 
So you see how it's plural? The servant of the Lord that it's talking about right now is a plurality of, a per, it's a people, a nation. Sir, so why the switch in the plurality from messenger to people? Well, because Israel, the nation, was supposed to be God's messenger on earth. They're supposed to represent earth, uh, God on earth. They're supposed to be his priests. It's, the Bible says that they're supposed to be a nation of priests and kings, right, of the law. However, they so interlinearly, it's a nation of it's a nation of Muslims then interlinearly. Uh, it's a nation. If you want Based to, say the, they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be submitted. Okay. So does the not, leader not also submit? Does the servant not also submit? The servant that he says. Well, 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 sure, but he's not. The servant is not called a Muslim, or the the word Muslim is not used for him. Was Jesus not a part of that nation? Was Jesus not a Jew? He's representative of the nation. So yes, he's yes he's a Jew, but he's not part of this context in which you went to the Arabic and tried to show how the word Muslim is used in the Arabic. That's not applied to the first servant. That's only applied to the second servant who's blind and disobedient. Sure. So where do we find the distinction between the first and second servant? Like where showed, where is it do we find the two distinctions between the first and second? I just showed you. Verse 18 starts talking about the second servant. No, I understand that, but where do we put this first servant above the second servant? So the first servant mentioned in the verses above is the one who mm -hmm. leads the, opens the blinded eyes, leads them out of darkness, is obedient and righteous and just, while this servant is deaf, dumb, and blind. They need their eyes opened. They need their ears opened. They're in the dungeons. They're plundered, and they are a people, a plurality of persons. They're Israel. Okay? But I'm curious. If, do you mind if I take my camera off? This is getting a little tired for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I can pull anything back up if you give me to. But from what the understanding is, is Christians believe, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, that Jesus was a Jew. Yes. So was he of the Gentiles? He's not of the Gentiles, no. But he is a is a Messiah for the Jews and the Gentiles. He's a covenant to the Gentiles. Okay, so he's covenant under the Gentiles. Who is included in the Gentiles if Jesus is a Jew but not included in Gentile? Gentiles are non Israelites, bro. Okay, That's all they've got you. So he's a life for the Gentiles, but he is a Jew. So he's right. both so he's non Gentile. Yeah, he's an Israelite, and he's a given as a covenant to the Gentiles. He brings salvation to the Gentiles. How many categories between Gentile is there? Is there just Gentile and non-Gentile? Is there Gentile, non-Gentile? Right. There's, there's just Israelite and Israelite. There's Gentile. There's Israelite and okay. Gentile. Okay. So the two groups are Israelite and Gentile that we're working with here. Everybody's either an Israelite or a Gentile. Like everybody's either a boy or girl, pretty much. Correct. Correct. Okay, fantastic. So... Assuming the Arabic is correct from the from the post I showed on Bible Hub earlier, then the Arabic still applies to all the Israelites. And if Jesus is included in the Israelites, that still applies to him. No, the Arabic applies to the context of the Israelites in this verse. The ones who are disobedient, the ones who are um, blind. It doesn't apply to the first servant. It's not used for the first servant. Speak within, like, and, like, okay, I'll definitely have to do some more research. Like I said, I only saw this pretty recently, so I've only done you know preliminary research into it. So I got to do no, some more looking into it. I but I want to I want to applaud you for bringing. I, I didn't. I wasn't aware of the whole uh, the context. The second servant thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wasn't really aware of the second servant part. So I'll definitely have to do some more research into that. But uh, I appreciate it for sure. Yeah, man, and thanks for bringing something different. Thank you. Yeah, no, everybody uh, else. I was, actually, I was hoping you heard problem. it before, to be honest with you, because. I was honestly hoping that you would have more of like a immediate, you know, kind of come back to it rather than having to go through the whole thing. Because honestly, whenever I first heard it, I was like, no, this must have been like talked about by now because that's pretty big. At least from my perspective, that seems pretty big, right? So mm -hmm. I was kind of expecting for you to have heard it already. But uh, yeah, nope, no I, I appreciate no your response across, and everything. No one's come across with that. Yeah, no. Okay, no worries. I'll definitely do some more digging and I'll have to take a look and see if I can find anything else for you. But I appreciate it, bro. Sure. Yeah, take care, man. Thank you. you too. Oh, man. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was something fresh. That was something new. That was good. That was good. Something different. 
So definitely props um, to Riyadh for bringing something fresh to the table, for sure. Shout out. Yeah, he is smart. He's a smart dude. I had a conversation with him before. Smart dude, man. And reasonable. He's not going to. He's not going to try to sit on and fight a point if, you know, the point is clearly made and stuff like that. You know, if it's a good point, he'll be like, yeah, that's a good point.